I've been hearing my favorite rappers put their favorite basketball players right. in a song for for years before I even was in high school. And right. so for my favorite rapper at the time to do that, it was uh, it was it was it was a big accomplishment. Right. Kevin Durant, what's up, man? Welcome what's to up, Genius. Man? How you doing? This is an honor to sit down with you. I mean, normally here at Genius, we sit down with rappers and different musicians and get them to break down their lyrics. But what we wanted to get into was about how you affect culture, how you affect music. I want to start off first with Drake, Western Road Rose. A lot of people just hit me up when my name is mentioned. Shout out to KD, we relate, we get the same attention. It's Rain and Money, Oklahoma City Thunder, the most successful rapper, 35 and under. Uh, when I first heard it, you know, you're my favorite rapper, you get a shout out in the song, you know, you looking around and see if everybody, anybody else heard it, you know, because, you know, somebody recognized me, we talk, you know, so when going through that stuff with, you know, him and Meek Mill, it was entertainment for me because I'm such a, a huge rap fan. They both came with it. I think Drake set it off and, you know, went on another level. I think Meek came back and threw some jabs as well. So it was fun to be a part of that. What do you think Drake is actually saying here? A lot of people hit me up when my name is mentioned. Shout out to KD, we relate. We get the same attention. Me along with a lot of other people wanted to know what was, you know, if he was coming back with some, with some new music. When I have a game, he texts me or Snapchats me and, you know, we talk about stuff. I'm sure, you know, when he got in the booth, he was he was feeling that a little bit and he put it in there. So it went it went together nice. Yeah, that's dope. And he didn't give you a heads up like, yo, you're about to hear something nah, real I guess quick. He wanted, I guess he just <laughs> wanted me to just, you know, hear it as I was going through the album. But, you know, once once I heard it, I was like, man, that was, that was dope. Jay-Z, Crown. Oh yeah, that was. I'm, I'm not gonna get into the whole bar because he's talking about different agents and his yeah. arrival with Rock Nation Sports and yeah. what he's building. And he says, it's a new day, hit up KD. Yeah, that was wild. That was wild. When I heard that one, I was like, Jay-Z, that's somebody I've been listening to since I was 10 years old, you know? And uh, I didn't care what the beat sound like or anything. It was just that he put my name in a song. It was, that was, that was a moment for me. But he, he didn't just put you in one of his lyrics, right? Because Jay-Z doesn't rap just to rap. Yeah, exactly. There's a real life component to this. So it's a new day hit up KD. What is he talking about in that moment? Oh, um, well, you know, when I signed with Rock Nation, it felt like it was a changing of the guards with, you know, how being a professional athlete was run. It just felt like it was just a new regime, which is, you know, we kind of kicking down the door on how operations used to go. And we just doing it our way now. Wale and Currency collaborated on this song called What It Looked Like. And Wale, who I know you know very well, had a line. He said, I'm Durant at the Rucker. Ooh. Yeah, that was, uh, it was important for me to play on all the best street ball courts. And Rucker Park was number one on the list. So a lot of guys come up to me and, and talk about me scoring 66 at Rucker. And if, Can you say that again? How, how many points? 66. At the Rucker. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of guys have done something like that before, but being an NBA player, you're not supposed to be playing outdoors in those environments. So when I, I hit a three and everybody ran on the court, that moment was second to none so far in my career. Fabulous, one of my favorite rappers. He did a song called Steve Jobs, which was actually a freestyle for Lil Wayne's Bill Gates. She says, big house, couple rides, call that Neverland Ranch. Trey Pounds, shoot fast, call that Kevin Durant. Now, when you heard this, what, what were you thinking? I, was, I, I really thought it was a clever play on, you know, 3-5 and the Trey Pound. And for these guys, people I look up to, I've been listening to Fab since I was seventh, eighth grade. You know, I was watching videos and when I couldn't leave the house at 11 years old. Now I want to ask about the real life component to this because Trey Pound shoot fast, call that Kevin Durant. Um, in February, I guess the Orlando Magic, um, you hit a buzzer beater. Yeah. You left half a second on the clock and it got me to wondering, how quick is your release? Have you ever timed your release? Because you shoot fast. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's, it depends on what situation I'm in. I, I, gotta, I feel like I always got to have it locked and loaded no matter what, any time. I feel like I'm in the wild, wild west. I'm just walking around waiting for me to pull my gun out and, and be ready to shoot. So that's how I feel on the court. I'm just searching. This ain't just rap. These are real bars. <laughs> like, you really have to time your shot and be, be flexible yeah, that's in these real. situations. So, yeah, so when he said that, I was like, this is, this is, he's just not throwing a name in there or throwing something together. He really thought about it so that's how you could tell the good ones this is actually your performance it's not a lyric mm -hmm. but um you on on wale's mixtape um, yeah. 
best in the league. Skit. I would love to do that over again. Dude, we gonna talk that was about it. My first it. time behind the mic. Oh yeah, I would love to do that over. Just shouting out straight out of DC, Oklahoma City Thunder. Once again, it's KD yeah. and. Wale's in the background. What else? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what else? Talk I'm, about. I'm not, I, I can't run around and just scream out everything I've done because that's just that's that's not who I am. But I, I guess I had to get cocky for that one. And as awkward as it sound, I, it's, you could tell that's not me. I was nervous and I was like, you know, they had to tell me what to say. But now I add a little bit more flavor and swag and sauce to it now than I did back then. But that humbled me a lot. <laughs> It's a different time. Yeah. Next skit gonna be better. Next way while better, they take. Way better. Whoever yeah. need me on a skit, I got it. I got the juice now. I wanna ask you about a guy named Logic. A couple yeah. of years ago, he dropped a song named Numbers all the way back in 2012. Crazy. And you tweeted the hook, a lyric from it. You already know what I've been on. You know where I be at. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. I see that. Do you remember sending that tweet? Do you remember that lyric resonating with you? Yeah. Um, do you remember the moment? Yeah, I, I really sent it out. It was like, I just wanted to connect with him. And we come from the same area. And I didn't know. And that was the first time I ever even heard of him. My teammate was playing him in the locker room. And I was like, who is this? And he told me. And then, I, you know, I started listening to the song. I tweeted. And I found out he was from Maryland. So I was like, man, dope. Somebody from my area can support him and, and, uh, and you know, make, let him know that he got that hometown love coming from me. So that's why I did that. And then I've just been following him ever since. And he's just killing it right now. Probably my favorite. My favorite. He probably had the best album I listened to this year. Okay. Um, um, incredible you know, shit start. Yeah, that yeah, album man. was incredible. So, you know, I always support my, my hometown team. J. Cole. Oh, yeah. Fire squads. He's comparing himself to Bruce Lee. Everybody. And Bruce Wayne. And he says, meets the old two little Wayne and the new white T meets KD. Ain't no that could shoot like me. Blah. J. Cole, I, f I feel as though he's in the top tier of rappers. Like, mm -hmm. It's, it, you got to do a lot of work to catch up to him. Cole is somebody who knows his way around the court. Yeah, he can play a bit. Okay. He can play. I, I watched him. There's a few guys that can play, but and a few guys that are just flat out terrible, but he can play. <laughs> does, does it mean any more coming from somebody like Cole because he, he knows his way around the court as opposed to a no slight to Drake, but we all saw the air ball. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Does it mean more coming from yeah. Cole because he actually plays the game? Uh, it means, it, I, I wouldn't say it means more coming from Cole than it does from Drake or Wale or anybody else because all of those dudes, they actually work for something to get to where they are. They have to go through the, you know, the tough, the rough times to get to where they are. So I respect I respect their opinion, you know, just as much as basketball players' opinion because, you know, whether you're shooting ball or rapping or whatever, you still got to put the work in. You still got to perfect your craft. So they perfected their craft. It's just, it's just in a different profession. 